Hello everybody, so today I want to share a very simple trick to help you speed up your WordPress development on local machine using Docker. So let me show you my current setup. This is the local local site. And if I click on reload, you see that it is the this spinner just keeps spinning and very very slow. And I I can't stand that kind of speed, so let me show you my Docker file. So let me increase. So you see that the problem is I use volume here. I use volume mount mounted to to a local local path here, both the WordPress uh, site and the database. So the thing is. The idea is we will not use this. Instead, we use a volume. So I'm going to copy the data here inside a volume. So hopefully the speed will be better. So let's get started. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, remove this. Let me show you. So we like have services and volumes that would be i know uh, db and wordpress something like that and we're going to comment this i'm going to comment this and comment this and you see that the volumes now would be uh Hmm, this is uh, WordPress. And again, that would be app. And DB here would be DB and also var lib MySQL. Sorry, var lib MySQL. Oh, I have two var. So that's it. That That is I, all I need to do. So I'm going to uh, up the sites again to see if there's any error. Docker compose up dash d. Oh, should be under right. Oh, sorry. Made this and this. And again, let's try that. It's not a mapping. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what now? What now? DB. Oh, sorry. So we got this thing correct, but this one. That's it. Sorry. Up again. Hopefully there's no problem. And you see that. Let's see the site. So you see is on edit edit. So I'm going to open my Firefox browser. So you see, the site is super quick, but there's no data here. So let's fix that. So we have the DB and WordPress, um, uh, WordPress um, volumes here. So uh, my current data is here. So we need to copy that into into the container. So how do we do that? Right? How do we do that? So, we're going to copy this to to the container, right? So, let's see Docker PS. I have a few images here, but this this is the Dalo P and this is the database. So, I'm going to navigate to the current folder. See, D data dev wordpress and main i think this is all thing in the wordpress site so we are going to copy the main folder into wordpress so we docker cp main main 
and we are going to copy into my WP container and that will be inside TMP so that's it CP and this is the WordPress folder it may take a while because there are many files and especially I have git git inside this so there are many many files it may take a while Too slow, too slow. Let's see if it if it takes too long. I'm going to pause the video and and cut the part so you don't have to wait for too long. We are going to also copy the the database the database. No worries, no worries. Wow. So I'm going to pause the video here and go back until the copy is done. Okay, the copy of WordPress has done. Next, I'm going to copy the database into uh, into the container. So ls, and you see that there's a db folder here. So I'm going to do cp db and that be container db and also to tmp. I hope this uh, copy out oh, is super fast. So the next thing we need to do is to go to inside the container dot exec bash it wp and bash. And as you see, we have the app folder here and app folder means wordpress uh, yeah wordpress main no app folder to main mapping to main previously so we're going to move everything in tmp main to uh app app yeah something like that and this should be very quick Hopefully, yeah, it's done. So, next, copy the DB, right? So, we're going to Docker exec dash it DB and bash. So, uh, DB map to valid MySQL. So, we OS uh, TMP DB. You see that all the database are here. So, again, M3. TMP DB and for like my SQL something like that wow so we may need to remove everything in valid my SQL first and for it my SQL star and run the MV again and no problem you LS for Leave my SQL. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, it seems we deleted the the other files. No worry. Let delete that again and copy the folder again. No worries. So Docker CP. Yeah, this is the command. Ah, uh, okay. It's Docker exec dash it db bash and tmp uh, db okay a string is fit so we mv again mv make sure the current bar leave my sql is empty so we mv yeah that's it everything is fine we exit now we are going to run the containers again docker Compose up dash d and we're going to oh let's dial first okay okay so we're going to docker compose 
uh, sorry, compose uh, dash D. And let's 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 check this out. So uh, reload that. Hopefully we have the WordPress site. And I don't know about you, but the site loads super super fast now uh, compared to the previous site. Oh, four four, no problem. Going to the admin site. I think we need to update the permalink. And that is admin, admin. This is my local site. But okay, let let's add, update the permalink. Wow, still permalink. Yeah, first name. Update that and go to check the site again. Wow, it's super fast, right? And this is not a 404 anymore. So you see that the page is loaded very, very fast now. So hopefully this helps you with the, the, the new site here, with the speed on your site, with development site, development site. Yeah, I think this is acceptable. So the point is move all the data inside the container and your Docker development environment will be much faster than you mount the data back. So let me show you the new setup. This is the volume. This is the previous thing. I mount from a local uh, address to app. Now I mount the volume so it, it is much faster. This uh, worked really well on Windows, but on Linux, I haven't tested it, but I doubt it will increase performance very much. Uh, this may be caused by the difference in file system. In Linux, uh, I guess there is no difference between the file system. So you may not see much of speed improvement, but on Windows, this is night and day. So check the site again. This is whoa, very very fast, and even reload is super fast. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this will help you with your site. And if you have questions, please uh, leave in the comment section below. Thank you again for your attention.